Hi everyone. Welcome to module two. For module two, now remember, these due dates might be different for the course that you're in, but these due dates right here are the end dates. So for module two, you're going to be reading chapters three, four, five, and six. You have quiz number two. You have discussion board number two. Let's click right here on module two. On module two, here's the chapters three through six. Here's some ancillary materials for you. If you click on assignments right here, this will be quiz number two. With quiz number two, you have 25 multiple choice questions, two attempts, 60 minutes, and I'll take the highest of the two attempts. So you really want to focus your efforts on each of the attempts and the analysis that you get. Also, you want to make sure to prepare so that you only have to take the quiz once. Because if you get a high score on the first attempt, then you'll be fine. You're not going to see the exact same questions that a lot of people think. So really focus your efforts. Now for the discussion board, let's go to the question. You're going to explain right here. Remember, your initial post is always due by the first Thursday of the module starting. Your two peer responses are due by the end of the module, which can be to the, any of the questions that I ask. But you're looking at a recent price change that you see and experience and illustrate the determinant of either supply or demand. So let, let me give you an example of oranges. Let's say in Florida where I live, the oranges, there's a supply issue with oranges with regard to canker, which has been destroying the orange crop. So if supply decreases, when supply decreases, you're going to recognize that as the determinant is the expectation, less suppliers, supply decreases. Then what happens to price and quantity? So the equilibrium price will increase and the equilibrium quantity will decrease. Now, that's an example of some good that you've purchased. And it's good to put agriculture products. That's the easiest thing to do. Then if you're a manager of a store, how would you deal with a shortage? So if there's a shortage present on the shelves, how would you deal with it? And then you want to explain a positive negative externality that you've consumed. And you want to relate it to the market characteristics of externality. That's very important. And then what types of solutions that the government would have to provide. This is going to require a lot of research. So make sure to have an APA formatted in-text citation reference to support your efforts. And if you, have, if you want me to pre-grade your work, I'm more than willing to do it. As I look forward to your effort, just send it to me through email. 